Hi everybody, it's a new week. It's Monday the 4th of May today. Hello Monday. Our learning intention today, we are learning to make a sizzling start to our narratives. So to be successful, I can hook, I can hook the reader with the first sentence or two of my narrative. So last week, we looked at all the different elements to a narrative. You need your character, you need your characters, you need your setting, and then you've got your plot. So the, so the story, which is like the which is like a roller coaster. So you want your reader to be filled with many different emotions throughout the story. Okay, but today we're focusing on the sizzling start, so the very beginning of that roller coaster. Now we're using the elements. So this week we're going to use the elements from the story Pip. So this was that video, that video that we watched. So if you haven't if you haven't seen it, so you should have seen it by now. So if you haven't, haven't seen it, go and watch it. And we're going to use the elements. So we're going to use the character. Our character is going to be dog. And we're going to use the setting. The setting was uh, the setting was Canine University, or it could be just dog, you could call it doggy school, because that's what happens in this story. So Pip goes to he goes to doggy school because he wants to become a guide dog so he can help blind people walk around. Okay, so that's the setting. So I've just I've written it out here. This, you, this looks similar to what you did on Thursday. So you can use this if you like as well, if um, as your plan before we start our sizzling start very soon. Um, and then you've got your big problem. So the problem was he wanted to become a guide dog, but he, you know, he kept sort of failing, didn't he? He wanted to get his um, he wanted to get his guide dog certificate. That was the biggest problem in the story. Anyway, let's focus more in back back to sizzling starts. The sizzling start is at the very beginning of your roller coaster. So you need a to a narrative is made to entertain your reader. So if you start with boring starts you know even you know one day if you start with even one day that's a bit boring one day we want to make it sizzle sizzle we want to make it flame we want the reader to be to be saying this is going to be this is hooked me oh, i want to keep reading so it needs a sizzling start narratives need sizzling a sizzling start to catch a reader's attention authors write narratives to entertain their readers you're the author for this you could use sounds like boom, creak, crack. Could you say sounds are really engaging? What's really, really helpful, we'll keep getting back to this throughout our narratives, is to use your five senses. Things that you see or, or your things that you or your character sees. So you know what Pip might see, what he sees, what he can hear, what he can feel, what he can smell, what he can touch. So see and hear are the really important ones. That's going to help you show rather than just tell in your narratives. All right, here are a few examples of some of my sizzling starts. So I've, got, I've made a, a few different ones for the start of Pip. First one, rumble, rumble, rumble. The ground shook as a pack of dogs zoomed past the small fluffy white dog. It's just, it's just one, two, two sentences really. A sizzling start. How about this next one? Creak was the sound of the big black gates opening at Canine University. Or maybe this one might sizzle as well. The sun was beaming down on the little nervous white dog as 10 other dogs ran past him like the wind. All three of them are sizzling. Interesting starts. Okay, so... This is where we're up to. We're only at the beginning for a sizzling start. I don't want you to go and write your whole narrative now. I don't want you to go and write the, what happens in the story. All I want you to do is to write your sizzling start. Have a go at, at trying to make it a really interesting one rather than just one day there was a dog that walked to doggy school. That's boring. We don't want boring starts. We want to try and make it sizzle. Okay, so we're just at the beginning of our plot mountain. We're just about to start our introduction. Tomorrow we'll, we'll start introducing the characters and setting at, into our story. Okay, so let's make it sizzle, everybody. 